I'm from China and I came to the United States three years ago for my college education. Today I'm here to support the Egyptian women and women around the world who are struggling and fighting for their rights. I didn't call you because I'm doing I want to start my speech with talking about an ancient Chinese tradition. Long, long time ago, more precisely before 20th century, there was a, a Chinese custom of bending women's feet. Yeah. They bend women's young girls' feet so tightly, so painfully tight, to prevent further growth. And that was considered beautiful at the time, and to, pre to make women's movements more feminine. Luckily, this practice does not exist anymore in China. But what does exist today, all around the world, is high heels. <laughs> <laughs> a recent re research suggests one third of women suffer from permanent, permanent problems as a result of wearing high heels, hmm. ranging from hammer toes and uh, bunions and uh, another word they call permanent damage to the leg tendons. So you see, the world, the society has truly been progressing, and women have come a long way. But we cannot ignore the incredible similarity between the old Chinese tradition of bending, bending women's feet and today's high heels. What's the similarity? First, it's an uh, um, unhealthy and unrealistic standard of beauty. Second, it's uh, a limitation of mobility. And therefore, in the inability to participate in political and social life and the world in general. Third, it's, it's a way to please men and the structure of the man dominant society. So you see, the society has been using the standard of beauty as a way, as a political weapon against women's advancement for a long time. This suggests to us what's most, impo what's most important about women is how we look. When we look around, we're surrounded by the images of the idea of beauty. This fish is unrealistic and unhealthy. <laughs> As the study shows, and the weight of an average model, the fashion model, is 23% of an ordinary woman. And all the images, a lot of images we see on magazines, TVs, not only the women put a lot of makeup on, they are computer generated, like the use of Photoshop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you see, uh, so as a result of the media, today's media influences, only 2%, only 2% of women consider themselves to be beautiful. And all the rest of us spend enormous time, money, energy, striving to achieve this idea of beauty. And I'm feel beautiful. ashamed. Yes, you are. You are beautiful. We feel ashamed and guilty when we feel, when we feel to achieve that. And the feeling is inevitable because the idea of beauty is based on the absolute flawlessness. And plus, there's a whole industry depend on this. Like the fashion industry, clothes, shoes, bags, cosmetic products, and surgeries, and also diets. And we, they, we can't be beautiful enough or they can't make any money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> decide so, so, you, no. so you see, so you see, all these media, magazines, televisions, celebrities, fashion models, they are purposely designed and manufactured to put out there to make us feel bad about ourselves, to distract us from the real issues, the issues that actually matter. That's right. So that leads to my real purpose here today. I'm here to make you realize you're beautiful the way you are. Beauty.
beauty and the standard beauty imposed on us by the society. We're here today to send a role model for our young girls. We're here today to send a message to women all around the world. That is, we are beautiful and we know it. Thank you.